So we continue our discussion about uh, Artinian rings. So maybe one more example, which we uh, didn't discuss last time. Okay. Suppose that R is a, let's say R is an Ethereum local ring. or take any Ethereum ring, localize and take it in let's say R. Let I be any M primary ideal, that is the same thing as saying radical of I is M. Okay. Then R mod I is R T. Okay. That is because if you keep a descending chain of ideals, uh, because R is an Ethereum, some power of the maximal ideal is inside I. And if you keep a descending chain of ideals, uh, one can, uh, so this requires a little bit of working, but then one sees that it must be inside, it, uh, eventually it will go into larger and larger powers of the maximal ideal, and hence also inside I, and therefore it will be zero. Okay. So every uh, uh, descending chain stabilizes. Okay. We will understand this in greater detail later, but this is just a, uh, I mean, maybe uh, okay, we, uh, just to give an idea. Okay. And it is because of this, so that we will have to worry about such ideals and uh, we'll see what is called filtration by ideals, which is why we have to first understand Artinian rings a little bit. Okay, so remark from the pre continuing from the discussion from the previous, the final proposition that uh, maximal ideal is the same as prime ideals in Artinian rings. The, so first is the definition, Jacobson radical of R is the intersection of prime, is, is the intersection of Uh, maximal ideals. Okay. okay, so we uh, so we will denote it by J of R. So hence J of R equals the nil radical for an Artinian ring for every Artinian ring. So this is the uh, uh, an observation. Uh, we will need to use this later. But I mean uh, okay. that that I mean we will need, need to use the fact that maximal ideals and prime ideals are the same in an Artinian ring, and we will use it in this fashion. Yeah, it's a proposition. Uh, let R be Artinian, okay. then it has only, it has, then it has only finitely many maximal ideals. Okay. Gives us another reason why Z is not Artinian. Okay. It has infinitely many maximal ideals. Okay. So proof, let lambda be the collection of finite intersection of maximal ideals. So take finitely many maximal ideals, intersect them, that ideal. So take such things and call it lambda. Okay. Since every maximal ideal of R is in lambda, because there's just trivial intersection of one maximal ideal, uh, lambda is not empty. 
which means that lambda has a minimal element. DCC for ideals is the same thing as saying that every non-empty family of ideals has a minimal element, call it i. Okay. Note that i is an intersection of maximal ideals. Mn maximal ideals. Mi maximal ideals. Now let M be any maximal ideal. Then I intersect M is inside I by minim and is so and also. Uh, uh, I intersect M is an intersection of finitely many maximal ideals. Okay. So I intersect M belongs to lambda, but I is minimal in lambda by minimality Minimality of i, i intersect m e by minimality of i, i intersect i is equal, equal to m i. Okay. In other words, m1 intersect intersect m uh, n is inside is inside m. That's uh, this is i. I is, I is equal to I intersect M which is inside M. Okay. But here again same argument a bunch of ideals whose intersection is inside some prime ideal. So this now implies that there exists I such that Mi is inside M okay. uh, but the, both are maximal. Okay. So both maximal. So, so m i equals m. So, there is a minimal element and only those prime, those maximal ideals that appear as an intersection in, in that intersection expression are the maximal ideals, there is nothing else. Okay. So, corollary of this. is that Jacobson radical is nilpotent. Okay. So, uh, remember this is also the nil radical. So, just there is some co content in the statement, uh, in the statement, uh, because uh, Nil radical consists of elements that are themselves nilpotent. But what do we mean by nilpotence, nilpotent for an ideal? What does this mean? So there exists an n such that jr to the n is 0. Okay. Of course, L, because jr is equal to uh, the nil radical, every element for every element there is an n with this property. But we do not know whether any of these ideals is finitely generated. So, by knowing that it is true for every ideal, every element of the ideal, one cannot conclude that it is true for the ideal, it's, uh, ideal itself. I mean, at the end it will be true because we will prove that an Artinian ring is an Ethereum. So, these are finitely generated, but that is after all of this is proved. Okay, so, let us uh, uh, prove this. So, uh, so let's write j. Uh, let's write i. Uh, okay. So let's write i a proof for the nil radical. Okay. One could just keep writing jr 
but uh, it's really the argument that the nil radical is nil potent is what we're going to prove and write i for this. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we want to show that there exists some uh, uh, some uh, power of i which is zero. Okay. So let a uh, sorry consider the sequence i consider the descending family chain. descending chain i, i squared and so on. Let a be its stable value. Okay. What is, uh, uh, if a is 0 then we are okay, a equals 0 then we are okay because if a equals 0 then uh, some power of i is 0, that is all that we wanted to prove. So, we want to assume a is non-zero and get a contradiction, okay. Otherwise, let otherwise let lambda be, uh, uh, let lambda be the set of i ideal k such that k a is not 0. Okay. Note that a square itself is not 0 because if a square is 0 means uh, some i to the 2n is 0 but then this is the stable value so i to the n is same as i to the 2n so anyway we, we will be done. I mean for some large n. So, a square is non-zero. So, this implies that lambda is not empty, right. This a itself is in lambda. So, lambda is not empty. So, it has a minimal element. So, let k0 be, uh, be a minimal element of lambda. Okay. Now, k0 times a is not 0. This implies that there exists some little a inside k0 such that little a times this ideal a is not 0. Okay, because if this is true for principal sub ideals of k0, then it would be true, I mean it would not be true for k0 also. So, this by minimality of, of k0, gives that k0 itself is a principal idea because a is its principal idea. Okay. So, this is some a ok. So, now let us look at this look at this one. So, a times j. So, a is the generator of k0. So, a times j is non-zero. This times j Okay, this is a times uh, j, j square, but since j is the stable value, this is same thing as a times j. So, this is since, uh, sorry not j, I apologize, not j, a times that ideal, a times this ideal, not j. This a is the stable value of uh, this ch descending chain. So, a square must be equal to a. Okay. So, since this is this is a, so that implies that, so this is non-zero, that is how a is such that this is non-zero. Okay. So, this, this now implies that a, little a times this ideal a is also inside lambda, okay. but little a times ideal a is inside ideal a, minimality of ideal a
Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, that's not correct. Uh, not little a is inside i ideal uh, ideal generated by the element. So, sorry, just notation is a little confusing at this point. Which is what? Uh, so let's just make sure we let's just recall what these two things are. This is the generator of minimal element of lambda and this is the stable value of i n. Okay. So, this is this is the minimal element in lambda. So, this is this is also inside lambda. So, this is inside here. So, uh, okay. minimality of uh, uh, minimality of a in lambda okay, in, uh, gives that little a little a times the ideal a I mean this uh, big uh, round ideal a is this. Okay. So, hence therefore, there exists b inside a such that a equals a b. Okay. Remember, this is inside the i which is the nil radical. This is the power of i. This a is a power of i. So, it is in the nil radical. So, now let us uh, a and a equals a b, but a equals a b which is also equal to a b squared which is also equal to a b cube. Well, one just takes, so this is just a b times b square, so it is a b. Then one can take a b square which is a times a b here, so it is again a b and so on. Okay. But b square is 0, b to the n is 0 for all sufficiently large n which means that a is 0, but that was a contradiction. So, the contradiction came uh, when we go backwards contradiction came by assuming that this set is not empty. Okay. So, therefore, uh, there exists some n such that i to the n is 0. Okay. So, now we define uh, uh, something called a composition series. So, this is the same thing one would see in, in group theory. Okay. So, definition. Let M be an R module, not R is not necessarily uh, Artinian, just some any ring B and R module or any ring, okay. not necessarily Artinian. A uh, composition series of M is a descending filtration uh, M, which we can call as M zero, containing M one containing m 2, containing some m r equals 0, okay, such that m i mod m i minus 1, other way around, m i minus 1 mod m i, the bigger one is m i minus 1, is a simple r module, okay, over a commutative ring the only simple R modules are quotients by, uh, so a simple R module means that there is no proper sub module in it, non zero proper sub module in it and over a commutative ring the only simple R modules are quotients by uh, maximal ideals. Okay. So, this is really R mod M for uh, some maximal ideal. Uh, M. 
Okay, so this is so we, uh, I mean M need not admit a composition series. Okay, so then fact th this is called Jordan Hurdle theorem. Okay, which uh, we will not prove. Uh, 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 we will not prove in this course. Uh, is that if M has a composition series of length n, length here is this this number here. So it starts from zero. Length one means there's just one inside it, and that is a zero. Length two means in, when you go down two steps, it becomes zero, and so on. Okay. So as we mentioned, it is not necessary that every module has a composition series, but if it has a composition series of length n, then every composition series of m has, a, has length n. Okay. So this we won't prove, we will just accept uh, this thing and uh, we will denote this number denote this number n as uh, length of m, le lambda for length, length of m as an R module because the quotients have to be simple R modules. Okay, so it is in the thing and call it the length of m over R or as an R module or something like that. Okay, so this is what uh, we will uh, call this thing. Okay. So here is the, uh, uh, here is the important property about uh, uh, existence of a composition series. M has a composition series. In other words, the length, so if, if it has a composition series, we will denote that length by lambda. Uh, if it does not admit a composition series, we will just say lambda of m is infinite if it does not have just a notational convention uh, composition series. Okay. We, we, at least we are discussing Artinian modules and rings. we are looking for things that have uh, finite length. Okay. Uh, so uh, has a composition series. If and only if M is Noetherian and Artinian. Okay, so the okay, so proof. Okay, so let's say only if. Okay, so we are assuming that it has a composition series. Well, if it has a composition series, then every ascending chain has to, uh, strictly ascending chain has to stop somewhere or strictly descending chain also has to stop somewhere because when you intersect a chain with the composition series, we would just get uh, 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 strictly, if you take a strictly ascending chain and intersect with the composition series, we would just get a weakly ascending chain, but then it cannot be weakly ascending infinitely long. If that happens, then it becomes stable. Okay, and similarly for descending. So uh, every uh, uh, strictly ascending or strictly descending chain uh, of ideals. Is finite. Okay, that's because a composite, the composition series itself is finite. Uh, sorry, uh, not ideal submodules. Is finite. Okay, and if so, we want to now exhibit a composition series. Okay, so this again goes like the proof of existence of maximal ideals in a ring by uh, okay. So start with M, then 
M1 is a maximal submodule. different from M. Different from M. Such a thing exists because, because it is Noetherian. Okay. This exists, exists since M is Noetherian. Now M1 is also an Ethereum, so continue doing this. At every stage, pick a maximal submodule. So the quotients will be simple because you cannot put anything else in between. So quotients would be simple. And this must stop because M is Artelian. Okay. And that is, uh, and if it stops, it must stop at 0 because if it does not stop at 0, you can find a submodule in it and hence a maximal submodule. Okay? So, and it therefore must stop at 0. Okay? So, therefore, it has a comp there that is the composition series. Okay? So, this uh, uh, proves that. Uh, existence of a composition series is a very special property and we will uh, the, uh, the characterization of Artelian rings is that it admits a composition series. It has finite length as a module over itself which therefore also proves that they are Noetherian. Okay. It is not true for arbitrary modules. There are Artelian modules that are not Noetherian but Artelian rings are Noetherian rings. Okay, so proposition. R is Artinian if and only if uh, length of R is fine as an R module is finite. In other words, it has a composition series. Okay. So by above, uh, if is by above. In fact, by above, R is also Noetherian. Okay, so, it is this direction that is new. So, only if okay. Okay. so uh, we uh, yeah. So, recall that the Jacobson radical uh, is uh, is nilpotent. Okay. So, what does that say? Okay. So, then uh, yeah. so we can consider the descending chain. So, uh, so look at this m i to the m 1 to the n 1 m 2 to the n 2. Uh, not in product intersect. Okay. So, as you vary n, so this goes, uh, sorry, what are m i? So, let m 1 through m t be the distinct maximal ideals. finitely many that we uh, uh, already uh, said okay maximal ideals so then we can look at this one m i to the n i but intersect them and as we vary n i maybe fix all but one n i and then vary this n i okay. this can give a descent not all n i's but this can give a descending chain And therefore, uh, we see that 0 is equal to some intersection of maximal ideals. Therefore, there exists n i such that this is true. Okay. But these are pairwise co-maximal. Uh, uh, co 
So, but so therefore, this is also equal to mi ni, the product m1 n1 times m2 n2 m t n t. So, in other words, therefore, 0 can be written as a product of maximal ideals, a product of uh, finitely many copies, okay, uh, repetition allowed. So this is uh, uh, okay, this is an observation that we uh, we uh, know about uh, 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 about Artinian rings. Okay. So now let's uh, uh, take a, a descending chain. Okay. So, uh, so let's relabel uh, and call them zero equals m one, m two up to some m k. So repetitions are allowed. Not not uh, m i is maximal, m i maximal for all i and repetitions allowed. That means m i is not different from m j if i is different from j. These are not just the distinct maximal ideals. So, we just allowed uh, a relabeling uh, to, uh, uh, okay. so that is that is fine. Okay. So, now, uh, now let us look at this filtration r contains m1, contains m2, m1, m2, contains m1, m2, m3 and so on up to m1 up to mk which is 0. Okay. So, there is this. Now, if you take successive uh, quotients uh, m1 up to mi plus 1 mod m1 up to mi. Uh, sorry, uh, this is other way around. I and I plus one. Maybe let's call this I minus one here and this Mi. Okay. So now this is an Artinian R mod Mi module. Okay. So this quotient is a sub module of R modulo this product ideal and quotients of R are uh, R is Artinian. So, quotients are also Artinian sub modules of Artinian and Artinian. So, this is an Artinian module. It is an Artinian R module, but it is killed by M i. So, it is an Artinian module over R mod M i, okay. but this just means that it that is a finite dimensional vector space over R mod M i. This is a field or a field a module is Artinian if and only if the rank, rank is finite. Okay. So, uh, so then therefore, we can take this filtration. So, then uh, refine the above filtration. Okay. In finitely many in finitely many steps to get uh, that uh, to get a composition series of of r that is ok. Uh, so, okay, so, we will uh, uh, do one corollary of the statement uh, which is that uh, every Artinian ring is an Ethereum okay. that is uh, because the length is uh, uh, length is finite implies an Ethereum, Ethereum and of dimension 0 that is because every maximal ideal is uh, every prime ideal is maximal there are no uh, pro, uh, chains of primes of length at least more than one. Okay. Now, the converse is also true. 
proposition let r be a Noetherian ring of dimension 0 then r is artemium okay so a proof we have seen this for Noetherian modules we know that there exists something called prime filtration which we saw earlier okay so use prime filtration okay so what is that there exist 0 which is m0 properly inside m1 and some properly inside mr which is equal to the module that we are considering which is r okay such that mi mod mi minus 1 is isomorphic to r mod pi for some pi inside spec r okay but r dimension of r is 0 that is so this uses the fact that r is Noetherian this assertion so far now we use the fact that dimension is 0 uh, which now implies that mi mod mi minus 1 is isomorphic to r mod uh, uh, it's a simple is a simple r module okay these are max quotients by maximal ideals which now implies that length of r is finite and therefore it's artinian okay so this is our short discussion about artinian rings we will see we'll come back and see more examples a little later right now our immediate goal is to understand uh, a proof uh, uh, be uh, understand dimension a little bit better so in the next lecture we will look at uh, some graded modules and then from there uh, we will develop a notion of dim uh, a, no uh, a notion of uh, another way of estimating dimension and we'll prove that this these numbers are the same